Hello Genossen. Today we're going to be going over my Stasi impression. So this is my East German secret police, or Stasi impression, and you can already tell right off the bat, this is not a kit, this is more of a dress uniform. So we'll start at the top and go down, you, you know the deal. So at the very top I have the peaked visor cap, and this is the Stasi cap. You can tell that the parade caps have a slightly different band across here, that's more of a braided kind of twine, like a braided rope. But this one is just a piece of plastic that goes around. The emblem on the hat is the East German uh, hammer and compass in the middle with the silver wreath around the edge. And this is a officer's cockade, you can tell because of the wreath. And also because it has a slightly better quality than you can tell on some of maybe the Ushankas have a little bit different wreath with maybe not any red paint in the middle. Inside the hat we have some markings. This is an it says NVA, so National Volksarmee, of course. Uh, 56, so this is a size 56 hat. A little too small for me, I would need to get a bigger one. 1856, which is probably the production model or production number. And then L, which corresponds to the date it was made. Next, moving down, we have the shoulder boards. And these are Unteroffizier shoulder boards, which are or Stasi Unteroffizier shoulder boards. And they have a gray base, basically like the rest of them, but instead of just having the piping around the edge, they also have a silver kind of threaded material that goes around to show that this is a Unteroffizier. And the collar tabs are just basic Stasi collar tabs. You'll sometimes see the top button unbuttoned and have you'll have a tie, you'd have a tie underneath. I don't really have that tie, so uh, that's why I decided to keep the top button up. So moving down we have the tunic and this is really similar to the World War II German tunics although it's made of a slightly different material. Sometimes at small events I've heard that people actually try to get in using uh, these tunics just because they're a lot cheaper than a actual World War I tunic or World War II. <clears throat> On the tunic we have one, two, three, four, five silver buttons and these are, these are actual metal, although on the service uniform these are plastic or bakelite. We have two breast pockets and two pockets down on the hips. So the belt I'm wearing is the DDR officer's belt. And this is kind of a mid DDR belt. These were actually used by the, the National Volks Army, the soldiers, in the very early time before they started moving to production of the nylon belts. This one is just a leather belt with a, a black leather belt with a shiny silver buckle with the hammer and compass. So on the sleeve there is a single chevron. To be honest I really don't know what this means so if somebody could tell me that in the comments that'd be greatly appreciated if you know. On the other sleeve though we have the the band, so it's probably backwards or upside down, but it says Vash Regiment Friedrich Zizinski and that's the regiment, and specifically that is the combat trained regiment of the Stasi, so they were the ones that would actually, if combat was needed, they would be the ones to do that. And sometimes you can even see uh, certain Stasi soldiers with a mag pouch on their belt, but that was quite rare. The pants are just the standard gray service pants, or Stasi service pants, and they just have a single pocket on the side, on either side. So how you can tell East German enlisted boots from East German officers boots, the officers boots still had hobnails on the bottom, so this is a Soviet boot so it's not a very good uh, example, and it doesn't have hobnails, it had big, like, big nails in the sole, and the officers boots were still made of con entirely leather and had hobnails very similar to the World War II ones. So the boots I'm wearing are actually incorrect, these are the Soviet Sapozhki, so these are the actual enlisted man's boots for the Soviet Army in World War II and just passed. So these are incorrect, but they look similar to the East German Jack boots, so I'm gonna let them pass for this time until I can get the correct boots. 
but you can tell the East German boots from the Soviet boots because the East German ones have a slightly more rounded front rather than a pointy square toed front. So how you can tell East German enlisted boots from East German officers boots, the officers boots still had hobnails on the bottom, so this is a Soviet boot so it's not a very good uh, example, and it doesn't have hobnails, it have big, like, big nails in the sole. And the officer's boots were still made of entirely leather and had hobnails, very similar to the World War II ones. So, Genossen, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was probably a little bit shorter because there's not as much gear to go over, and there's just, <clears throat> it's just the uniform, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Remember, we have a NVA Collector's Discord, so the link will be in that in the description. We also have my Instagram, of course, you know that. We just hit a 400 subscribers, so thank you for that. 400 followers. So, yeah. All right, have a nice day, and I'll be decent.